Hello dear students, I am Dr. Hassan Jamal Abidi, ex university librarian of Jamia Millia Islamia. Today we are going to discuss part 2 of the topic classification of complex and compound subjects with the help of Davy Decimal Scheme of Classification, 19th edition. We find many entries which are add to uh, instructions in the schedules of DDC and throughout the schedules these instructions have been given to facilitate synthesis of class numbers of complex subjects by permitting addition of some digit or digits from one sequence of class numbers in the schedules to another class number which usually is the base number of the, the topic. The base number actually is the most important aspect of the subject dealt in the document. With the help of these add to instructions, we are able to synthesize the class numbers of complex subjects and compound subjects. Such instructions are indicate indicate the digits particular digits or which are to be added to the base number and the location from where these digits are to be taken. Uh, for our convenience, we uh, we call some instructions as common instructions because uh, these are applicable to many uh, headings, many subjects. So, first thing while classifying a document, the classifier has to look for the base number. Base number is like a foundation of the building. So, it is so important to select the uh, correct base number first, the most important aspect of the subject is the basic subject or the core subject. So, in the DDD schedules, the base number is like the foundation of a building. So, base number should be taken correctly and selected correctly and then chosen correctly and then further digits are added to this fund, uh, fundamental basic number, further digits are added from the schedules to the base number. So, we, today we are going to discuss uh, about some specific type of add to instructions uh, which are given at one place and they are applicable to a number of headings or uh, a number of uh, entries you can say. So, these instructions uh, are not repeated again and again with all the entries. So, it saves the time or space in the schedules. Uh, so, add to instructions which are applicable to many entries. So, for the sake of convenience, we call them uh, common entries. They are given at one place in the schedules and they are applicable to a number of entries. So, these entries are having one asterisk or uh, 
star you can say asterisk on on the top of uh, on the beginning of the uh, term this this shows that the and there is a footnote on the bottom of the page where these such entries are given so a number of entries have asterisks attached with them and on the bottom of the page there is an instruction which 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 shows that we add as instructed under so and so so there is a specific place is shown so which which is uh, to be uh, which is the place where common instructions are given so then footnote given on the bottom of the page applies to all the headings which have got asterisks so add as instructed under so and so means that we we should add further digits to this number which is now our base number from that particular place as instructions given there this footnote is is indicating so we go to to that place and take specific digits from there and add those digits to this number which is the base number now so this is very important instruction uh given which is given throughout the schedules and we have to be clear about how to classify documents with the help of these instructions and how to follow these instructions so today we are going to discuss about these specific type of instructions so uh now uh the footnote uh now will the classifier has to uh, follow those fo those instructions for all those entries which are marked with an asterisk so uh, now we'll take some uh some examples to explain how we uh follow those instructions for example uh actually in practical we we this is a theoretical part of uh, instructions now we'll see how and we use them by taking concrete example and then you will learn and how these are uh, to be followed for example there is a title fungus diseases in rice this title has two aspects fungus diseases and rice and first thing we search is the base number base number is the class number of the basic subject or concrete subject or most important subject dealt in the document here rice is the uh, most concrete subject so we first of all choose the right uh base number because base number is like a foundation of a building if we choose the right base number our building uh, like uh, class number will be uh, of good quality otherwise if base number is not good if not correct then our class number will be wrong so first thing we do is we choose the class number of rice here 633.18 uh is is the uh, basic subject basic num number 633.18 base number for rice so we have got a asterisk attached to it and a footnote add as instructed under 633 635 so footnote on the bottom of this page given this instruction that add, go to 633 635 so from there you can add as instructed there and there we find under those instructions we find that the digit 9 is given for diseases so from here we add 9 to the base number and 633.18 plus 9 it becomes diseases of rice but we have to find the number for fungus also so here we find another instruction under 9 that add to 9 the number 
following 632 from 632.1 dash 632.9. There is a whole range of num these diseases under 632.1 to 9 and we have to take number for fungus diseases which is 632.4 and we have to add only the 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 part of the digits from the this number only following 632 that is 4 that is for fungus diseases. So, our complete number is constructed or synthesized like this 633.18 for rice then as per instruction 9 digit 9 has been given for disease and then to 9 we have added the number following 632 that is 4. 632.4 was fungus disease. So, 633.1894. So, this is the complete number for our uh, title. So, we have to understand this procedure we have followed in building or constructing or synthesizing a class number. In this, cla in ca in this case, we have analyzed the subject of the title first and we try to find out the core of the subject. On the analysis, we found that the core or most important aspect subject in this title was rice. So, rice, we the class number of rice becomes the base number or the foundation of the our, our class number. So, we take this number from the schedules and you know that how we search the class number from the schedules ready made numbers we can we can use them uh, two approaches we can find out through uh, directly through the schedules uh, with the help of the summaries or we can find out the num number from the index for the rice so the ready the number for rice is given in the schedules ready made we have to just choose which approach we we select to reach there and find out the number for rice on searching the class number for the term rice, we find that 633.18 is the class number. Now, we it becomes our base number for this title and then we further for fungus diseases of rice, we have to add the number further. We find an asterisk or star attached to the term rice and then there is a footnote add as instructed under 633-635. So, there is a, a location has been uh, has been uh, locate, uh, given 633-635 in the schedules. There are some uh, instructions given there. The, those are common instructions. So, we have to go there and we, uh, we see there some instructions are given and we specific plant crops 633-635 is are this is the range of numbers for specific plant crops and we find some instruction there add to the notation for each term identified by star as follows Malab, they have given some some numbers for different concepts there and they are applicable to all those entries or terms which have got an asterisk or star attached to them. So, we uh, we find that digit 9 has been assigned to the uh, subject injuries, diseases, pests and we connect these digits as per instruction to our base number that is the number of rice 633.18. So, 633.18 and 9 is added to it, it becomes diseases of rice. So, but our our complete number has not yet been synthesized. Our number was, our topic title was fungus diseases of rice. So, we have to further see, look for instructions because we cannot add any number without instructions. So, under 9, we find few some more instructions. We have to add the number uh, following 632 uh, from 632.129. 
So, these instructions are there under 9. We have to add the number following 632 from this range 632.1 to 9. So, under this range of class numbers, we search the number for fungus and going through this sequence of class numbers in the schedules, we find that the number of fungus is 632.4 and as per instructions, we have to drop 632 and add only the number following 632 that is 4 only to digit 9 for fungus diseases. So, fungus diseases, diseases was only 9, now 94 is fungus diseases. Thus, the complete class number of our title fungus diseases of rice has been synthesized as follows. First, we take the number for rice base number 63.18, then we add the 9 digit 9 as per the instructions for diseases, then we add the digit 4 as for fungus. So, complete class number of this title 633.1894. Now, we have to uh, go to the uh, DDC schedules and then there we will we'll show you will you will come to know about how we took these numbers from where we took these numbers. So, while we are doing the classification practical, we are having our DDCs in our hands. So, DDC schedule has to be there to actually get back to this number and we will uh, we will sh show you in the DDC uh, about uh, when we I will give you the copy of the few pages of uh, DDC schedules where we have shown how to look for first the base number that is the uh, number for uh, rice and this is page uh, schedules you will you will see that 633.18 is the number for rice and there is an asterisk attached to it and there is a footnote over there. So, actual uh, thing you will see when you you look into the uh, sample page of DDC schedules. I have given a copy of the schedules uh, for your convenience. So, this is how you can you can f have a feel of that that how a specific uh, exactly we have chosen the base number then where these and this footnote is how it is given in the schedules and and uh, where these common instructions are there 633635. So, now we take one more example of uh, classifying a complex document. A surgical therapy of brain is the title of this document. So, first we analyze this title and find out what is the core subject or basic subject in this. It is brain. So, we are talking about surgical therapy of brain. So, first thing is the uh, brain and we take this uh, basic subject we is class number we found out from the schedules and 617.481 is the number we find from the schedules for our this type brains. So, this is our basic class number or we call it base number. Now, there is a footnote and there is a asterisk on this uh, heading or title uh, brain. So, we have to follow the footnote for further addition of this uh, title, this class number that add as instructed under 617, this is the footnote, uh, six, add as instructed under 617 because our title is surgical therapy of the brain. So, we have to add the number for the concept surgical therapy and we, under the instructions given in 617, we find that 059 is the 
uh, digits given for surgical therapy. So, under those instructions, we get these digits and we have to add them to the basic subject number or base number 617.481 for the brains. So, how we synthesize the complete class number of this title? 617.481 plus 059 equals to 617.481059. So, this complete class number of this title becomes 617.481059. Now, we will look into the procedure which we have followed in classifying this, uh, this title. Here, the title was Surgical Therapy of Brains. So, first we analyzed this title and found, found that brains is the basic subject or core subject dealt in this document. So, the mo when we select the most important uh, subject in the title is brains, we have to find out its class number from the uh, schedules for this term brain. We can uh, find out this number with the help of uh, our summaries and we can reach into the schedules directly and find out this number because it is given uh, in the ready made number is there for brains 617.481. So, this becomes the base number now and we have to add the concept uh, surgical therapy is also there in the title and we have to add the class number for class number of this aspect into the base number. Now, we find that asterisk or star has been attached to the uh, this term brain in the schedules. So, this component of brain uh, in our title is surgical therapy and we need to add and find out this uh, digit for it and notation for this concept is given in our instructions under 617. So, we are guided to these instructions from footnote given there and add as instructed under 617. So, we, we follow these and go to 617 under the heading 617 surgery and related topics, we have been given some common instructions where which are applicable to each subdivision of 617 which has been identified by star. We have added the digit 059 from there under those instructions, we the digit 059 has been assigned to the concept surgical therapy. So, we take these digits and add to our base number for brains that is 617.481. So, complete class number of our title has been synthesized as follows 617.481 plus 059. So, directly our complete number 617.481059, this is the complete class number of the title surgical therapy of brains. Similarly, make some other class number for other or any organ of our human body and we can add the concept 059 to it like surgical therapy of any we give the class, num class number of any organ and we attach this digit 059 to it. So, this is applicable to all the different organs 617.482 is for example, uh, this is the number for spinal cord 617.482 and we attach 059 it becomes surgical therapy of spinal cord. So, this way we can give attach 059 to any, uh, any uh, organ and it becomes surgical therapy of particular organ. Now, we have shown uh, you uh, this how we take these numbers from the schedules. We have to go into the we, we can see uh, 
the that uh, DDC schedules, we have to uh, see the copy of the schedules and we can, we will become more clear how we took these uh, numbers from there. So, we just look into uh, DDC because when you are classifying, you need, you, you need to go through the schedules and find out those things yourself. So, th in practical classification, we have to be uh, we have to be uh, conversant with the DDC and we become more, we use it, we become more uh, practical, we, we use it, we become more conversant. So, we can take one more example for, for, your, uh, for your use that, uh, that is uh, analysis of alcohols, uh, quantitative analysis of alcohols you may say. So, if we analyze this title, here again we, we can easily notice that alcohols is the most important aspect in this title and this becomes uh, the core subject. So, we take number for this 547.031 from the schedules and then uh, uh, we, is, we add to, we have to add the further from the, as foot, given in the footnote, uh, f f go to 547 and from there we take out the number 0465 for quantitative analysis, which has to be added to it and we synthesize the complete class number of this title 547.031465. So, this becomes the, this becomes the uh, class number, complete class number of uh, this title. So, this concept can be added to quantitative analysis of is general concept, we can add this to any uh, any other uh, organic compound and it will become quantitative analysis of that particular compound. So, first thing we do is to analyze the title and try to find out the key aspect or the most important subject in the title. In this case, it was alcohols for example. So, first we try, we take, we, we find out the class number of the basic subject that is alcohols from the schedules and this is 547.031 and to this base number as per the uh, footnote we go to the in instructions common instructions and there in the under 547 uh, we find the notation for quantitative analysis and we have added this number to the uh, to the base number 547.031 and then quantitative analysis of we have added the digits for 059 to it. So, uh, we notice that this in asterisk that uh, on the uh, on a heading shows that we have to follow the footnote which on this page and we have to go to that place and then follow as instructed under that particular place. In this case, as instructed under 547, some common instructions are given to subdivide this class number, to add further class numbers or further digits to this base number. So, we have to follow and add as per instructions. So, these are, we have common instructions we are, which are applicable to all the notations which have been identified by star. So, these instructions are applicable to all the terms which have been uh, identified by star on a particular page where this footnote is given. So, these instructions uh, are we find uh, common to uh, 0465 for example, is common to uh, all those uh, quanti for quantitative analysis of all the uh, organic compounds. So, we have added this concept to, a we can add this concept that is 0465 for any other compound also. So, this is, we, we have today thus we have synthesized the class numbers of various uh, titles. Uh, with the help of some common instructions 
so we can synthesize so other class numbers similarly by adding by following these instructions and following these footnotes for example acids we can follow we can see in the schedules uh, that uh, we have added the how we have added and from where we have not taken these digits from we will see and the specific pages of the dc schedules uh, we can see from there uh, we can uh, we have taken the digits uh, for base base number or the instructions form instructions or the footnotes how it is given you have to go and see in the ddc and you will be more clear about that when you see the specific ddc pages from where these instructions have been taken so today we have learned about the synthesis of class numbers of complex and compound subjects with the help of some specific types of instructions for the purpose of convenience we have used the term common instructions for them because these instructions are uh, located at one place but these are applicable to a number of entries so such instructions are scattered all over the uh, schedules and they are very useful in synthesizing the the class numbers of complex subjects an asterisk is attached to all such entries and to which these common instructions are applicable and the footnote guides us uh, to that particular place where the instructions are given and the footnote is add as instructed at under 547 for example so we go to 547 and on this this footnote guides to the particular page where these entries are given when the instructions are given so we have to go a specific location with the help of footnote and then from there we follow the instruct common instructions which are applicable to all the entries which have been identified by an asterisk or a star thank you very much <music>